Hey guys, back at again, do another weekend project. Today we're gonna do something simple, easy, and fixable. We're gonna go ahead and change the rear shocks on this first generation Toyota Sequoia. This is the shocks that we're gonna install. This is the part number. It's always recommended to do this in pairs. Very easy job, guys. The first we're gonna, thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and chalk up the front tires and we're gonna go ahead and use jack stand to support the bottom. So let me go ahead and get this tire out and then we'll continue, guys. Okay, now that we removed the tire, uh, let's go ahead and uh, check the work area here. So this is your rear shocks. Um, it's held on by a 17 millimeter uh, bolt. And then the shock kind of goes and angle in that direction. I don't know if you can see, there's a nut right there. Let me see if I can give you guys a close up. Bear with me, that's the top nut. And for some reason, uh, <laughs> Toyota kind of made it a little bit difficult for uh, maybe like a wrench to kind of go through here. Um, especially being that the struts kind of angled towards that way in inside. So the best way you guys could do this, if you have a wrench uh, that's a ratchet, this is going to be your best friend. And the reason for that being is because you could actually uh, stick your hand underneath here. There's like a little, a little gap here that you could stick your hand and you can maneuver this wrench in there. Let me show you how that's done, okay? Let me see. Just make sure. So again, I'm just coming through here. And I'm actually working the wrench. And I'm trying to s s put it over the strut like so. And then that's gonna allow me, I'm in place, and I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to ratchet that. And I'm gonna loosen that all the way, like so. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I'm ratcheting it away. So let me go ahead and uh, remove this. And then once I get, I remove that, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this 17 millimeter uh, bolt, like so. Okay guys, once you remove that nut from the top, we're gonna go ahead and we can use a pry bar to kind of slide this out because I have to slide out. But on the top, just keep in mind, there's going to be some um, uh, rubber and a um, metal backing plate that's going to be stuck up there. But the new part came with that exact, exact same uh, components that we're going to install on this shock. So let me go ahead and show you real quick. So basically, um, if you try to pull this out with your hands, depending on how strong you are, <laughs> it might come out like so. See that? But sometimes in this situation, you're going to need a really, really nice size pry bar to remove it. Remember, once you remove this, the shock's going to basically come down um, and it's going to get out of that little uh, area there. So let me show you real quick. Just gonna pry this out like so. See if I can show you with two hands. Bear with me here. Alright. It's coming out. But you kind of see the idea. Let's see if I can continue. Bear with me here. Just take your time, be patient. I'm trying to do this with two hands, but you can see it's, it's basically almost out. I just did a little tug, so let me see if I can do it real quick. Give me one second. All right, guys, just a little bit more, and that puppy should come out. So, see that? And as I suspected, it came out with the actual rubber garments and the metal backing plate and the new one once we get it situated we're just going to go ahead and make sure that we follow the same exact pattern so we're going to put the the this one first in here and then we're going to go ahead and put Reform it like 
like so. And this one, I think it came with, cause it's just a aftermarket shock. We're gonna put this one. So let me go ahead and get that situated for you guys. Show you what that looks like. All right guys, so you know what? After further inspecting this shock, it's actually still a good shock. Um, I compress the shock all the way down like so and then it comes back up so i don't want the customer to spend money if they're not they're not uh it's not a reason for that being so so guess guess what guys we're gonna go and install this shock back just because it, it's in really good working order uh let me show you guys real quick what i mean check this out so i'm gonna go ahead and compress it all the way down Check this out. It's coming back up as it should. See that? So I feel that uh, I don't want to have to put parts if the customer doesn't really need them and um, save them some money. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and install this in reverse order. Let me show you how you do that real quick. All right, guys, to install this in reverse order, see this top here? This is actually gonna be maneuvered into that top hole right there. That's exactly where it's gonna go. So pretty easy job, guys. All it is, you're just gonna go ahead and make sure that uh, it's facing the same way. And I'm gonna go through here, like so. And I'm gonna see if I could get it started, just pushing it inside. You see how it's inside there already? So now with that, I'm gonna go ahead and muscle it. I'm gonna push it up and I'm gonna go ahead and slide it back in there. So let me see if I can do this with two hands. Let me see if I can show you guys. Bear with me here. Well, you guys can see this in action. There we go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and hit it with the little mallet and put it back in place. Voila. We're gonna go ahead and put back the bolt. And I'm gonna actually put the torque specs right there for this bolt. And remember, the top part, we have a nut, and I think the rubber bushing, there you go. I'm gonna go ahead and try to see if I can maneuver it back in there. I'm gonna tighten this up, and I'll put the torque specs right here. So guys, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Ended up saving the customer some money. I don't want him to put uh, struts if he doesn't need them, because these are still good. All right, guys. Hopefully you guys like this video. Subscribe, like, have a blessed day.